Hello. Well, I just made a video. The video went for 30 minutes. It was me making a patch on this lovely piece of hardware right here. Um, and then I went to Ableton after I'd done the video, and Ableton had crashed. So that video is in the toilet. Um, but I made this patch on it, VatePad, and I want to show you this patch because it's quite lovely. So, instead of writing uh, that whole patch again, because I'm not going to fucking do that, I'm just going to sort of talk you through what I did. Um, so I started with another patch because there's no way to initialize a patch on the VFX, because uh, it's weird in that way. <laughs> I don't know, I, I mean like, look, if the internet can tell me a way to do it, by all means, let me know, but uh, the internet, as far as my Google searches go, cannot tell me. Um, so what I've got here... I started with another patch, I just overwrote uh, the voices. I've got six voices here on the VFX, as you might know. Uh, I'm only using three of them. These are the ones that are muted, that's why there's little brackets around them. And my first uh, voice is, I'm just going to solo it by double clicking that, is this vocal bell um, sound. Which has got a lot of reverb on it. So if I go over here, you can see the reverb algorithm, large hall. Um, yeah, it's got a lot, lot going on there as far as reverb. Uh, it's got a short envelope on it um, to give it, you know, that sort of... Um, that's kind of it, really. There's not really a lot going on with that one. It's just a, a nice tone. Um, it's these ones where shit's really getting interesting. So if I solo this... We've got a lovely, evolving, textured pad. It all starts with, um, with a voice here, the vocal X transwave, which is a um, wavetable sound. <clears throat> it's being controlled by envelope 1 with a mod amount of 89, or plus 89. Uh, envelope 1 has got an initial uh, of 84, so it's like a high attack. Um, and, you know, just varying degrees, levels of uh, heights on the points of the envelope. And, uh, again, varying amounts on the, uh, what do you call it? The decays of the of the points, because uh, the VFX envelopes are quite complicated, um, and maybe I'm just a baby and I've got used to using graphical uh, envelopes. But anyway, they're they're a little bit tricky to get your head around. Um, but considering they're controlling the transwave, it doesn't really matter that much because uh, it's more about just creating ultimately like a really long LFO, because envelope one is also set to repeat which is a nice feature of uh, the envelopes on this synth, is you can just repeat them and you can use them as effectively just really long LFOs. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's also got uh, the envelope 3 is controlling the amp amount. So, you know, you've got a typical sort of pad envelope here, really long release, uh, really sort of quite slow attack. Um, and it's also got filtration, uh, filtration, a filter going on it, um, sort of, Bit of a low pass, cutting out some of the high frequencies. It's on 70 at the moment. If I bring that right up so you can hear. On 70, it's a lot duller. But it's a, you know, it's a nice sound. Um, that's being subtly affected by envelope 2. Which is, and it's also being uh, subtly affected by the LFO. And the LFO, if we go to that, is um, affecting the pitch. If 
we got a pitch mod page. It's only only plus one, but it does do quite a large amount of effect on it. And it's also being affected, the, the LFO is being controlled by envelope two, or at least the level of it is. Um, it might, if I made the rate affect it, that would give a different result. So let's uh, let's listen to that. If I if I bring that to envelope two, how will that sound? Oh, hang on, I've got to make the mod amount. So a lot of sort of possibilities when modulation, modulating LFOs, um, modulating whatever, really, like it's it's pretty cool. Um, the TS-12, which is sitting below here, is just so much more uh, feature rich and you can do so many more things with the LFOs and stuff like that, uh, or with the LFO, because you only get one LFO. <laughs> but considering the envelopes can kind of be used as LFOs, you, in a way you've got uh, four LFOs. <clears throat> although that would mean you wouldn't have any envelopes so you know it's a bit of a give and take um but either way that's some cool modulation i think going on in this patch nice wavetable sounds bit of filtering really slow evolving pad but i then copied it here and i made some subtle adjustments to the lfo that i showed just then uh, the envelopes and uh, the filter and stuff. So you just get a slightly different sound. It probably won't even be, if I solo it, probably won't be that apparent. Like, it basically sounds the same, right? But it's when you have them both together. So I'll just mute this one. So now it's just these two sounds. rich um, sort of detuned pad uh, because the LFOs are working at different or the LFOs of each of them are working at different strengths different speeds and you're getting that uh, pitch shifting on either of them um, or on both of them and the one other thing I've done is I've given on each one of them I've made the pan um, sorry that's the wrong one if I go to here I've made the pan um, also be controlled by the LFO this one minus 20 and this one plus 20 so you get that you know pan spread effect which I think is really nice and you know as I as you heard before the end result So I think that's a pretty beautiful sound. I've been listening to lots of Vaporwave recently. I feel like that's kind of a bit of a Vaporwave or some of the more spaced out Vaporwave uh, sort of sound. I'll probably use it, that sound at some point. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, that's it. I did, in my last video, I did sort of run through a couple of these other ones, like, cause I feel like this is a very, it's a very VFX sound. Right? Very VFX. Um, like this is a VFX sound. I really love that patch. I made that one years ago. I really love it. Um, and so, even this one, which I didn't make. This is a this is a preset, which I think I have on a disc somewhere. When I made a video on this synth last time, not the one I made today which crashed, but uh, months ago, which by the way is quite a popular video, a lot of people seem to like it, and my TS-12 video is even more popular, so I'll do another video on that one as well. Um, <clears throat> but when I did that video, a lot of people commented that they really liked this sound a lot, <laughs> and I can't blame them, because I like it as well. Um, and there's this sound, this one's a really good sound. Well... 
It's not very usable, but I, I like how it demonstrates trans waves. Ah, it's totally usable. It's just a bit harsh. Um, this one, though, definitely demonstrates uh, trans waves and just modulation in general. It's maxing out my, my hardware a little bit. Let's turn it down a touch. So anyway, I'm just going to make this video pretty short. I just wanted to run you through what I did with that patch that I made. Um, and just kind of, you know, show some of the cool programming features of this synth, because it is a beautiful synth. Um, and the reason why I was reminded of it today is because I'm kind of obsessed with uh, UVI Falcon at the moment, which is a piece of software from UVI. Um, I haven't bought it yet, but I will buy it. And uh, they also do a lot of sort of sampled synths. And they did a, a set of 80s digital synths, um, one of which was the VFX. And I was just kind of reminded of it, so I was like, yeah, I should do another video. Also, people seem to like this video. So, I'm going to end this video by pasting on to the end of it, the uh, the end of my the video which failed, because the end of it doesn't really have any playing, it's just some talking. Um, so I'm going to go to that right now. The sound I just made, classic VFX sound, I reckon. Pretty happy with it. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to use the disk drive and I'm going to write a patch. That's assuming I can find my disks. So just give me two seconds. Okay. So I've got some disks here. Some good old, uh, well that one's a K2000 patches, which I don't actually have my K2000 <laughs> anymore. Um, all right, so VFX patches, February two thousand five. This is my this is my preset save disc. Um, I've overwritten it many times since two thousand five. Let's see if this disc still works. I've got a few other discs in here I could use if this one doesn't work. That one's got some extra sounds on it. That one's got more sounds. I'm pretty sure this one has a <clears throat> the operating system for the sequencer. But I don't think the sequence is loaded on at the moment because if you reinitialize the 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 keyboard, which I'm pretty sure I've had to do at some point, the sequencer just wipes. But like I never use the fucking sequencer because it's fucking garbage anyway. So let's just put that there. Let's take this K2000 disc away. I'll put this over here in the slot. It's just out of shot, but you get the idea. All right, now how do we do this? Storage. Select disc. Save. Yep, I want to save all my programs. Yes. Yes. You can. Can you hear that? You probably can't hear it. But look, if I just tilt. Oh, the light's finished. Oh well. Anyway. So that's saved. And uh, if we go to... There's <laughs> fucking space left on the disk. If we go to storage and then we do disk and then we do load. There they are. 60 programs. No, I do not want to load them. So that's it. And um, people keep asking me for my patches, which I've put uh, on these videos, like which I've showed off on these videos. I get lots of comments being like, oh, please share your patches. Um, two things. One... I don't know how to sysx transfer my patches to my computer. I don't, like, I don't know what software I would need. I feel like I'd need to like reinstall Windows 95 or something, or even earlier. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Um, people can tell me if they wish. I don't know if I can be fucked, to be honest. It seems like a real pain in the ass. And in addition to that, I made these. Like, why? Like, I don't... <laughs> I use them. They're for me. I use them for my music. Maybe that's selfish. I don't know. Um, and I just told you how to make them. I just I just went through it. I just showed you how to make these patches 
or at least one of them. Um, but if somebody if somebody shows me an easy way to sysx this shit off this to my computer using Windows 10, by all means, I'll do it. Uh, there, there you go. I've made a promise. So if somebody tells me an easy way, I'll do it. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll probably make another one on the TS12. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you later.